This is So, the Surrey toothbrush. I'm sure you've seen this on social media or online. This is a really exciting new company. Actually has eco-friendly credentials. So I am in the new space for a brilliant toothbrush. I wanna up my oral hygiene, but I also wanna try something which is good for the planet. So let's just look on the packaging first off. Recyclable plant-based head and bristles. This is the number one reason why I got this. It's also the reason why I looked into other toothbrush options, but nothing seemed to be as well reviewed or as efficacious for a really deep cleanse uh, for the teeth. Um, that will be no thanks to the 33,000 sonic vibrations per minute. I've not tried this yet. I've not spoken to anyone that even owns one yet. And this was bought in full by myself. So I'm just choosing to do this review because it's very on brand and good for the planet. It's fully waterproof, 30 day battery and a four hour charge. So I am used to toothbrushes that had a longer life battery. But again, this point is really big. And this is something that for the rest of my life, I wanna try and be holding this as the gold standard. At least things that are recyclable or biodegradable, or at least do my best to be as eco-friendly as possible. Professional clean, designed and tested with dentists. Every brand says this. Premium aluminium body and innovative repairable design. This is cool. And I don't know what the process would be to actually have it you know, fixed. And instead of them just shipping me out a new one, which is what I'm sure a lot of companies end up doing, this hopefully could mean that it at least gets fixed and creates less e-waste. So this is the package because our habits can change the world. Here's hoping. First things first, plug in your Siri to charge uh, for a few hours first. The USB 2.0 charger, slide your brush head onto it until it clicks into place. Clean, push your brush's button to turn on everyday clean mode, white light, push it again for polish mode, blue light, and after push to turn it off. So that will be interesting to see how many pushes you need to do if you're just doing an everyday clean mode. Do you have to then cycle through the polish mode to then turn it off? So we'll find that out once I've used this more. This case looked really interesting and I didn't buy that yet. Drop a comment down below if you'd like me to review the UV travel case, which basically shines the UVC light over the bristles of the toothbrush and kills any bacteria onto it up to 99.9% .9 because no one's allowed to say 100% animal these days. Our plant-based heads are recyclable by us. Use the mailer if provided or go to trysiri.com forward slash recycle. So this is brilliant. And the mirror mount, which is definitely something that is posted a lot online. Uh, to really kind of declutter your bathroom. That's just like a nice to have. That's not, you know, a real deal breaker for me. This is the deal breaker and this is what I'm excited to see. Right, lift me. Uh, so you can push it out. Interesting. Okay, so first impressions, because I don't think any shops stock this yet or show you like a like a dummy model. This is a lot heavier than I first thought, but actually more ergonomic. I didn't realize it beveled to the sides and kind of had like the ridge. I feel like that's really nice actually to hold, like very nice. I'm not used to a toothbrush that's this thin, which is interesting. This is the charging magnetic base. Press it on. I'm gonna charge it first. So I'm not gonna turn it on just yet. So really cool, uh, quite a nice long base to it, which is quite niche. I went for the sea mist. It was in between the green. So I don't know what colors you all prefer. Blue, green, white, and black maybe. These are the colors you can choose. So which is your favorite? Did I make the right choice? I hope yes. <laughs> Let's have a little look. Um, this video is just gonna be the unboxing. If you would like to ask any questions before I really give my full review, please write those down below and I'll make sure to feature those in that video. So write down any questions you have or anything you're curious about. If you're also interested in trying this for yourself or buying it on Amazon, there's always offers on it. So that can be from five to 10 to 15%. So I'll put my link down below to shop direct with Amazon that does support 
myself and my channel. So I really appreciate it and it costs you nothing. So as always, thank you guys for always supporting me and my reviews. This is the, oh wow, that's quite, really nice base. Does it go both ways? Yeah, it does, it goes both ways. That's a nice touch. So what does it say? Charge your toothbrush for four hours before first use. Try not to charge it again until the front light is red. This will save energy and your battery life. Keep your brush clean and dry when charging. Let me just peel this off. It's a really nice kind of pebbled design. And I always like when eco plastics or composite materials have that appearance. I think it's really cool. What I find quite impressive is how long this charging cable is. It's not the most stable. That's my only observation so far, but that's okay because at the end of the day, it's just gonna stay and charge as it is. If that is a concern to you, you don't want it to be knocked off. I think then the travel case that can be charged within it is probably your best bet. That is a really long cable. I'm a real influencer here. Look at that, stunning. I'll work on that later. Moving on, let's have a little look at the brush head. I like the packaging. This is fully recyclable, good quality, so it will keep it nice and safe. Every single thing in this package is recyclable. Not a single thing is plastic, even the sticker. This is really good. Some ideas for reusing our main box include a pen holder, a table catch-all, a recipe box, and more. Hmm. This could be a good way to actually store bamboo or cotton pads. Let's open this and see what the head is like. So when I went online, I noticed that the brush head looked a bit different to the main body. The reason being is the brush head is recyclable and the main body is aluminium. So I don't know what colors truly give like a identical color, color tone, but it will be interesting. Online, it did look more like this kind of composite material, which I actually like the look of, as I said. So this is the mirror mount, which is good habit stick. Remove the backing and place on your mirror. I'm not gonna install that just yet because we're gonna get some work done to the bathroom, but I'm really gonna enjoy having it just draining on the wall or the mirror. I think this is really cool. And again, this isn't in plastic. This is in this is in a paper. Brilliant. This wrapper is home compostable. Please dispose of me, and I will biodegrade naturally. Designed in London and California. Okay, let's see what this looks like. So it definitely has that more composite look to it. Brush head feels really nice, actually. There's slightly more delicate ones in the middle and then tougher, more kind of angled ones on the side. And this is interesting. I've not used a brush head for years that had any other shape than just flat. So this will be interesting to see if that gets in the teeth a bit better. See how this looks. Okay, so actually, first off, it's not that dissimilar to the main body. This almost has a pearlized look. I hope the camera can catch this and the head's a bit more matted, but it's really longer than what I expected. Any Harry Potter fan, I know this is a bit of a side topic, but this is giving like Ollivanders, and I've just ended up with the world's first refixable and biodegradable tooth wand. I'm sure in the world of Harry Potter where everything is much better in some ways. I'm sure at Ollivander's they had a recyclable service as well. But anyway, so I'm gonna get this charged. I'm gonna use it um, now as my daily driver, as my daily toothbrush. I'm really excited to try something new. This is a, a treat to myself, but it also massages my eco, ego um, quite a lot. So I feel quite smug with myself now. And again, um, any questions down below, write down any questions or things that you are interested about this and I will make sure to include all of the questions in the full review where I've at least used it for a good few weeks, if not months. Right, get your comments down below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.